So Elizabeth Warren was absolutely on fire at this Democratic Party debate. She did exactly what I predicted and wanted her and Bernie to do for that matter. They teamed up and together they took on centrists and it was absolutely a bloodbath. And I think it's safe to say that Bernie and Liz came out on top because the centrists at this debate, John Delaney, Tim Ryan, John Hickenlooper, Steve Bullock, you know, they had no way to prove that they had the more uh, persuasive policy positions and they lied and they got exposed for their lies and it was just really not a good look for them. It was embarrassing for them. I really would hope that many of them would drop out after this, but we'll see. However, with that being said, I want to talk about what Elizabeth Warren did during this debate that I loved because she absolutely shined. First of all, on the subject of Bernie and Liz, I can't not share this really cute moment between the two of them when they basically looked at each other briefly, you know, in uh, disbelief at the stupidity that they were having to put up with, you know, members of their own party using right-wing talking points. Just absolutely awful. And then when Jake Tapper asked John Delaney about Elizabeth Warren's asset tax. <laughs> the look on her face was amazing. So basically, uh, John Delaney is told this would hit you because John Delaney is a multi-millionaire. Like he is, I believe, a hundred millionaire plus. So Elizabeth Warren's asset tax would absolutely affect him. Look at the face she makes as this question is being posed to John Delaney. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. How could you not love that? That was such a great moment. But I want to talk about the moment where Elizabeth Warren absolutely shined. This was probably my favorite moment from her, where she single-handedly uh, killed John Delaney. <laughs> Obviously, I'm being hyperbolic, but she bodied him, and this was great. I think Democrats win when we run on real solutions, not impossible promises. When we run on things that are workable, not fairy tale economics. I don't understand why anybody goes to all the trouble of running for president of the United States just to talk about what we really can't do and shouldn't fight for. I don't get it. That was amazing because he had no response. He just smiled. And what she did was she basically summarized his entire existence, his entire performance throughout this debate. It's always, hey, John Delaney, why is Bernie Sanders' policy bad? Hey, John Delaney, why is Elizabeth Warren's policy bad? I mean, he is the go-to Republican candidate, and he was only called on so that way the moderators would, you know, set up this dynamic where it'd be the progressives versus a centrist. And in this case, he really was effectively the Democrat in this race. So it was irritating that he got that much exposure during, during this debate because it certainly wasn't deserved. But Elizabeth Warren right there. That was absolutely phenomenal. Now, another embarrassing moment of this debate for John Delaney is when he proudly declared his support for the TPP. With a straight face, on that stage, he said, I'm the only candidate who supports the TPP. John, do you not realize that that's not popular? Like, you're running in a Democratic Party primary, and I don't even think Republican Party voters would go for that because Donald Trump won by being against the TPP vocally and passionately. So I don't know what you think you're going to accomplish here by doing that, but thankfully, Elizabeth Warren, she chimed in. She was against the TPP, as was Bernie Sanders, but this was another moment for her to really shine, and I think that she showed why she's serious and why John Delaney is a joke, because he tried to make it seem as if her opposition towards the TPP you know, it really proved why she's so radical. But all that she was saying is, look, maybe we shouldn't allow these large multinational corporations to negotiate these trade deals with politicians in secret. Maybe we should allow unions and workers to have a seat at the table. And, you know, that exchange between her and Delaney was great because it showed that Elizabeth Warren was on fire. So overall, what I saw was what I wanted to see. I said in my pre-debate analysis that I wanted Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren once and for all to take the gloves off. You know, at the first debate, they both didn't really need to do much. They just needed to maintain and let everyone else pick each other off. But at this debate, I did say, you know, they've got to rep the progressive wing of the party. And I think that they did just that. Elizabeth Warren's performance was absolutely outstanding. While I don't think she was the winner overall, she was definitely one of the winners. I think Bernie Sanders probably edged her out. But if you make the case that Elizabeth Warren won this debate, um, you know, I think that you can make that argument. She was absolutely great here. And this was Elizabeth Warren at her best. 
And I want to see more of this from Elizabeth Warren. Keep being unapologetically progressive on all issues, including Medicare for all. And you will continue to, you know, get support of progressives. She's winning people over. She's winning people back, I think, who she lost, you know, in 2016 and 2017. So this is great, you know, for Elizabeth Warren. She did a great job here.